Yo, what's up guys? Gecko here, and we are back for more Cassette Beasts. Uh, I'm in the Gramophone Cafe right now uh, because last time we captured a Stardegrade, or re we recorded a Stardegrade, um, which is one of the monsters that the professor wanted information on. Um, so we're coming back to town to show that to him. Um, and then we are going to be heading north to try to find that magnetic creature that Kaylee told us about, or told us we should look for next. Um, on the way to finding that creature, um, supposedly Meredith, the person who works on the town's electronics, uh, will be on the way, so we might as well just stop by her while we go as well. I'm telling you, boss, something shifted on the astral plane lately. All the ghosts are talking about it. There's some big players back on board, they're saying. Huh? All the ghosts? Yeah. Of course, there's all sorts of spirits, shades, and tulpas hanging out on the astral plane. Where do you think I get my best intel from? Okay, a tulpa must be some sort of mythological creature then. I've heard the term before, but I'm really not familiar with it, so I will have to look up what a tulpa actually is. I'll take your word for it. What do you think about that, Ian? Hey. Hey, Gecko. Something on your mind? Um, did we ask about all these things already? I think we did. I'll just say hi. Oh, okay, that was it. We said hi. Hello, Professor. Greetings. Greetings, eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? Here it is. The Stardegrade, is it? Why why you, you would want to transform into this thing, I do not know. That's a very good point. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't want to transform into any beast. I don't understand how this technology works, and I'd rather not experiment on myself. How long has this been established, though? Like, we know Harbor Town has been here for a few generations now. How long have we known about the, or had like the cassette technology to do this? Because it's definitely been used by a lot of other people. Like, I, I get I get if you're skeptical about it, but it's not like this is a completely new thing that hasn't been tested on anybody else. I don't know. That's just me. I would love to be able to shape shift. That is like fucking dream come true. So like, cannot relate, but I will respect his decision. I'm perfectly happy leaving the monster transforming to others. Which reminds me, here's a reward for your efforts. Some more fused material. We got a ferrochrome tape for metal type monsters. Nice. The next rumor I've heard sounds too bizarre to be true. There are claims of a winged rabbit spotted on Autumn Hill. That will be the Thwackalope, which we have fought a few times, but we have not caught one. Surely someone is pulling my leg, having a laugh, maybe engaging in a jest of sorts. Dude, how is this one unbelievable? A rabbit with wings is weirder than the fucking Stardegrade? Really? But not to me, that d doesn't sound that weird. If you can get to the bottom of this one, you'll be a better scientist than I. Honestly, most of the monsters are weirder than the Thwackalope. Like even the, um, uh, what, it, what, which one was I thinking of? I don't remember which one I was thinking of now. Like all of them are really bizarre. Like the Macabre, are you kidding me? Okay, what is this? Sticker packs? Oh. This is cool. So you can you can buy like a pack of them and it'll have uh, stickers of this type in there. That is really cool. It's guaranteed to have an uncommon or rare in there. Wait, this is actually so sick. I should get one. Should, should we get the pollution one? We have a, quite a few uh, poison monsters. Although they kind of... I do like our movesets right now. We have good movesets, but... I wonder if this gets more stock later on, like if there will be other types that you can buy. Or maybe, should we try the astral one? I don't know. I don't know that anyone would be able to use it besides the star degrade. Let me, let me double check what we've got right now in our team. We do, because we have Melchemy. Oh yeah, we took out Cropocalypse so that we weren't doubled up on typings, but we need to catch Hold on, something I did want to do, I wanted to look at, not quest log, um, the type chart and find what's good against fire because we have a big problem when we run into fire types. So if we, if fire is the defender, okay, um, air, oh no, if the attacker, yeah, against fire. Yeah, that helps it, that helps it. No, wait, sorry, I read this backwards, never mind. Oh, air is good against fire. Why do I keep, that is like, it's kind of counterintuitive to me. I get the logic of like blowing out a fire, but also oxygen fuels fires too. 
so it's a little bit counterintuitive. It depends on the amount of fire and the amount of air. Anyway, so in any case, air is good against fire. Astral is good against fire. Earth is good against fire. We don't have an earth type or earth type attacks yet, but... And then obviously water would be if we could find one. I haven't seen one yet. A water type. Well, we've seen a couple, but they've been in, like, trainer battles. We haven't found a wild water type. That, at least that I can remember. So actually, we should just be using our uh, Toku sect against... And De Decibel against fire types. All right. So let's just head north from here. We're going to go by foot so that we can catch Meredith on the way. Okay. Um, and she should be... Let's see. She's in this quadrant up here. So yeah, just we just go straight north from here. Although... We're, oh yeah, we gotta go up over here. I love the nighttime music. I think I've said that before, but it's so atmospheric. Oh! I, I'm sorry for the little, like, hiccups and freezes we've had here and there. Uh, it's just the Switch being the Switch. But I do prefer playing on consoles when I can. Because uh, my laptop is not super great for gaming. It's not really built for that. Oh, you're you're dead on the ground. I couldn't tell what that was at first. That is a person we have defeated. Okay. Oh, we haven't opened this gate yet. Okay. Meredith! Are you in here? There's a rogue fusion. Okay, we're gonna have to find a stone to put on that. Hello, dude. Hi. <laughs> My favorite bands are the Y, Schrodinger's Martyr, and Flesh Cage. Get ready for some heavy metal. Are you going to be a metal type trainer? Did you misunderstand what metal types are? Okay. Well, we can bring in our Velocir Rifle for some fire damage. And then uh, let's just give you a spit. Let's just spit on you. Let's get a little damage off. Hello, would you like some flames? Hell yeah, you do. Get melted, buddy. Not too shabby. Okay, nice. Dude, you really kicked my base. My bass. Um, should we fight the fusion? I feel like we should fight the fusion. They give you good ass shit. We don't know what it's going to be a fusion of, so I guess it doesn't matter who's up front because we won't know what types we'll need anyway. Yeah, bring it on, buddy. There's a fire right nearby if this goes poorly. Puppery? Okay, so this is metal and beast type. So this must be a pupper cut and... I don't know, maybe the other dog? I don't remember its name, potentially. Okay, I want to try to get rid of the little guy first. Um, although, should we put up a wall? Let's see. Uh, oh, we don't want to hit the metal type with poison, because then it becomes trapped. I feel like we should bring in, let's bring in Velocir Rifle. And then because we've got multi-target up, I do want to take advantage of that and just go for damage with Decibel right away. And we can do a little setup later if we need to, if the battle goes on for a while. We got fueled, baby. Give me that sweet AP. Okay. So Sonic Boom from Decibel will definitely take out the Carnaviper. So we don't need to worry about that this turn. Since we got the AP for it, let's just rapid fire on you. Nice, and we burned him. Toxic stab. Don't want to be poisoned. Don't do that. All right, we'll take it out next turn. Oh, Kaylee's just barely hanging in there. Just barely hanging on. Nice, that wasn't bad. We were, we had the right, uh, Oh, nope, we're not done. I always forget about this. You also have to beat the individual forms. Oh, you were mixed with a Squirey. That makes perfect sense now with the armor. Okay. So, who would be good to bring in now? 
probably we could bring in mana spear uh we'll rapid fire on you and we'll just go for slice on both Ooh, lots of damage nice we won't slice both we'll slice just the squirey <laughs> That, that battle went way better than it could have. Got some fused material. Nice. Very nice. Now the question is... No, we don't want to... We don't want to waste a, a bonfire yet. Because we... We can just keep going without Decibel. We can sw swap you out with... Uh, uh, let's use... Who should we use? Oh, something I did want to do. Let's put, put, put Blossom up front. I want to quickly not swap. I do want to give you back the. Um, yeah, the problem with this is how much AP it uses. It's really good if you can build that up, but. Um. Because I was gonna give it multi smack again. Or should I give it bite? Multi smack 20 hit three to five times. Where we what is shield bash? Uses defense instead of melee attack? Oh. That's actually like really good. Wait, where is that? That costs three AP. We could do that like instead of copper chop. Let's do it. Let's replace this with shield bash. Cool. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that. And then we, we'll leave the empty slots for a slice. Okay. Now, is there a rock around here that we can put on that button? Hello, are you also a trainer? Woof? Are you a dog? Their name was Wolf. Oh, they are a dog. Hello. Hello, little friend. Let's, uh, let's get an air type in here, why don't we? Um, I don't think this battle's gonna last super long, we'll just leech for now. Okay, wall up. What does focus do? Oh, that's accuracy. We'll just smack. That'll lower your attack. Sticky tongue. Evasion down. Yeah, smack should kill. Come on, Blossom off. Take it out. There you go. Oh, you're another dog. <laughs> We'll just have to take out this dog too, unfortunately. That does nothing, even though we're weak to it. it does nothing. Well, I guess I guess you don't do extra damage from super effective hits. I gotta get that out of my head. I'm just so used to that being the case. Did we miss? Seriously? Why did we miss? Okay, the leech will take it out. Aww. Sorry, buddy. You were very cute in dog form. Uh oh. Whoa, sorry about that. I totally lost myself in the palm bomb tape. Now, where did I bury that bone? This guy is full dog mode. Oh, we could try to catch a pupper cut. That could be fun. I mean, do we need it? It is a it is a metal type, but we might as well catch a bunch of stuff and see what they're like. Because obviously it'll be, even though it's the same type, it'll be very different like stat-wise and the moves it has and stuff. Uh, I don't know how much damage we're going to do to it is the thing. It's only level 13. Um... Well, 
why don't we bring, let's see. Okay, bring in you. We'll just do a little smack to see how much this does. Okay, yeah. Velocity Rifle will destroy it next turn. So we'll record it as we're doing damage. So you do Inflame, and you... Uh, should we use a basic one? Or... I don't know, like, what the catch rate is for these. I guess we can always try again if it doesn't, uh, work this time. Recording. Okay, yeah, this one will be a little hard to catch. Let's see what our chance is after we do this damage, though. Okay, a little more than 50. Let's see if we get it. Oh, yeah, we self-destruct, too. Sorry, Kaylee. Come on. I want you, little buddy. Give me the puppy. Got it. Nice. Pupper cut. The pupper cut is an aspiring boxer. Although they were born with an iron coating over various parts of their bodies, the outer layer is prone to rust. The rusty layer sheds as they mature in their adult forms. Oh, they shed their armor like a lizard? You've just got smack and sharpen right now. That's okay, we can, we can level you up. All right, we got a new friend. We also had Velocirifle die. Uh, let's see. Party. I forgot what I was doing for a moment. Um, actually these two are doing okay. The ones that are up front. Okay, now where the heck is this Meredith person? Oh, we're not even in the right quadrant. No wonder we didn't find her. We're not in the right spot. We got sidetracked. Okay, she's, she's supposed to be down there. In that quadrant over there, right? Yeah, how did we miss that? Hold on. Can we get around this way, or are we gonna have to... This is, this is literally just a wall. Oh, wait, wait. Aha. Okay, we can open it from this side. We'll open this up so we can get back through. Okay. okay. Now we need to be... We need to be over a little more. It's further this way. Oh, maybe she's up there. Is that her? I bet it is. We gotta figure out how to get up there. Can we fly over? Not quite. I bet that is her, though. Oh, you know what? We, we could use that to push the button. Hold on. Can we, we can pick it up in the water. It's a little ways away, but here, what if we bring this and put it here? Whoopsies. No, I didn't mean to push it. Just, just set it down. Haley. <laughs> okay, and then go in here. No, don't don't touch me. I don't want to battle. I know I don't want to battle. Don't touch me. I'm gonna flee. Yes. Oh, hello. New World Park Caves. Hi, Squirey. There are a lot of monsters in here. Damn. I don't want to fight you. There's a lot of moths in here. And they're all guarding this chest at the end. Oh, is it a mimic? Damacabra, a rogue fusion. Did we... Was it in the chest? I was gonna say, I didn't see a rogue fusion in here. Was it inside of the chest? Okay. It is air and beast type. Let's try a random debuff first. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do some leeching. What did we get? Resonance. That's not really going to help us. We got uprooted by the air. Okay. We'll go for Bonbon Blast. And then let's bring in... I don't know. Let's let's try Tokusect. We'll do it. Go, go neutral. Fight air with air. You're gonna wallop me. I'm gonna do that to you next turn, buddy. I don't appreciate that. Take this. Okay. 
Okay, good damage, good damage. Bone cannon. Ow. I'm gonna toxic stab you for that. Stabby stab. Nice. Get that poison off. Okay, good. That was not too shabby. Now we just gotta take out the little guys, but this won't be a problem. I am not worried. This hits both, doesn't it? Oh, but I can't use it. I only have two AP. Okay, um, we'll just smack you instead. Zephyr. How dare you? Oh, that doesn't hit both. Why did I think it did? Okay, well, we'll, um... Actually, let's Toxic Stab you, and then you can finish off the moth. Your brethren. Big damage. Well, oh, you have Bone Cannon. I see. You have so little health left, my friend. I'm just gonna smack ya. There we go. Oh, we learned chemical imbalance. Chance to automatically use the next move in the list for zero AP when the user lands a type advantage hit. This chance is reduced in proportion to the normal AP cost. Interesting. Oh, but automatically, oh, this is a passive thing. Yeah, it says passive above. Oh, that's so interesting. So it's, you know, if you use it on a, a big, powerful move, it's less likely to work. But it, this can literally just pop for free and use one of your moves. That is so cool. I love, like, the moves in this game are really interesting. Because, like, some of them are sort of, like, your basic, like, oh, this will, will inflict a status or whatever. But there are some really, really interesting ones in here. I like it a lot. It, it offers some interesting strategies. Bad joke? The user tells a random joke. This has no effect. This ha- it, Is this truly just completely a joke move? This has to have some kind of use, yeah? I don't- I don't think I wanna- Do I wanna know what it is? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's set up that new thing we got. Okay. Oops, no, not me. My tape. Okay. So which move should we use that on? The more AP it costs, the less likely it is to work. But, like- but all of us are fairly low cost. I mean, Pustule Bomb and Toxic Stab are both kind of high. Oh, this is the one that hits everybody. Not Bon Bon. Yeah. Um, well, you could do it. That's interesting. You could do it on, on a non-damaging move too, right? Like, what if Trick just randomly pops sometimes? And they're just like, it's randomly debuffing people. That could be kind of interesting. Let's just, let's see, replace um, chemical imbalance. It's, it's when you land a type advantaged hit. That's how it triggers. So we got to remember that. That's how it goes off. Yeah, but see, but it's also really good with a damaging move. I mean, there's different uses with it. Because like, if, if that pops, what, let's say I use like toxic stab on something, it's super effective. And then we also get a second attack that just immediately goes after just for that passive ability. That's also really good. The wall is also interesting too. Like it costs HP, so you might not always want that to go off, but like theoretically you get a free wall up. That I kind of like that. That's really interesting. Can I, I just want to move this cause, okay. And then what if we put chemical imbalance here so it can automatically put up a wall for us let's try this and see how it goes it won't it might not come up super often because of um the the type advantage thing but i don't know let's just try it does the gate push the other way okay good never mind i thought we might be trapped um now that we have thoroughly distracted ourselves let's try to get up there to meredith and oops um, okay, we'll have to go around the other side. And while we're here, we might as well rest. There's a bonfire right here. Campfire. 
I'm trying. Oh, hi. Hello. What is that? What the hell? Oh, it's a fusion. Why the dark cloud over it, though? The others didn't have that, did they? Is this like a super powerful one? Okay, we're definitely going to rest before we do that. And we are going to do that. We're going to get distracted from Meredith again. And we're going to fight that fusion. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to use the terminology of the game. I'm learning. So I've been having a bit of a think recently. I've spent some time processing my feelings over my time in Morningtown. So much of my time was spent trying to keep people happy. In fact, I spent a lot of time trying to please people. I think maybe I still do. That's all well and good, but maybe it's good for me to think of what I like to do as well. Otherwise, I'll just burn myself out. There'll be nothing of me left. Let's see, what things do you like to do? What hobbies would you like to pick up? What things do you like to do in your huh? own time? I will have to think about that. I feel like when I was younger, I used to have so much more passion for things than I do as an adult. Is that normal? I have no idea. I feel like a lot of people could relate to that. I feel like I'm, I wouldn't say that about myself because I've had like the things I'm passionate about now, I've kind of had since childhood. I've kind of had these things that I have latched onto that have kind of just been with me my whole life. And maybe that's just because once they're with you for so long, they are special to you. And it, it does feel like a part of my identity. It's like, I've been drawing since I was a little, little kid. Like I took up our art very early on. Um, you know, Pokemon has been a part of my life literally since I was like five years old, four or five. Um, what else? Like reptiles. I've always loved reptiles since I was little. Like for me personally, like I have kind of carried these passions with me my whole life. I've picked up new stuff along the way too. Um, but I definitely think that what Kaylee's saying is also super relatable for a lot of people. I definitely know people who would, who would say something like this. Did you know I used to play guitar? Same as my dad. My earliest memories are of me sitting on his lap, listening to him play. How did he fit both you and a guitar on his lap at the same time? Very carefully. That's so cute. I, I wanna see a photo of that, of little baby Kaylee sitting with him as he's playing guitar. I bought my own guitar in my teens, but was never particularly good at it. I guess I gave it up because I felt like any hobby I had should probably amount to something eventually. Okay, this though, preach. This is so relatable. And I feel like a lot of like my generation relates to this just with the way things have gone, the way the world has gone, the way the economy has gone. There's like so much push to monetize all your hobbies or like only, you know, take up things that are going to help you later on in some practical way. So this is super relatable. It's, it's so important to have things that you do just because you enjoy them and they're just for you. Like not everything has to be practical, not everything has to like mean something or like get you somewhere in life like just just do things because they're nice this is very relatable well if i wasn't destined to become a professional musician what was the point in doing it at all that's a shame that is very much a shame a lot of people feel that way you know what you're right it is a shame i gave it up i should do more me stuff and i don't even have to do productive stuff yes preach girl get it Maybe if I want to sit in bed all day and read awful romance novels, I should do that too. You are right. Live your <laughs> dreams. If that is your dream, you do you. Thanks a million, Gecko. It feels good to get this off my chest. Damn, this talk, this was real talk, man. Like dog breeds, also cute discussion. I'm down to talk about it. This was like real shit. This was like real IRL shit. After all, we've been fusing into a great big monster together, haven't we? That's something of a bonding experience, if any. I'm pretty much finished with my cup of tea. What do you say? Shall we get back to it then? Hell yeah. I like Kaylee. Kaylee's cool. Oh, we have added strength now. Very nice. Power up. Broken tapes were repaired. Okay. Let us go confront this big, ominous cloud in front of us. Hello. You, uh, you look very... Very intimidating. Let's make sure we're set up for this. Um, I don't know. I don't know who we should have in. I guess, I don't know. I guess bring Decibel back in. I did want to check too. Kaylee had, yeah, your signature tape. 
Oh, it says, or it's remastered. I wanted to check that because I remember it saying Sirenade, but I was like, is this still buffing me if I'm using Decibel? And then what was ours? Abilities. Hold on. I can't, I can't look at what those are, those little symbols that it has under our abilities. So I'm not sure what that is, but all right. Confront the fusion. Oh, a fusion swarm. Is this going to be multiple fusions at once? Maybe that's what that means. Is our fusion meter full ourselves? No, it's not. I feel like we want to be a fusion for this battle. If that's what that means. Is that what that means? Okay, I'm going to wait till our fusion meter's full and then come back to try this. Just, just in case we might need it. We, we might need it. Okay, we want to stay... I'm so stupid. I just did the same mistake again. I think something else, too, about, you know, what Kaylee was saying and about, like, you know, needing to make something out of your hobbies or else they don't matter. I feel like there's a lot of push for that, too, just with, like... I don't know. A lot of people just, like, aren't really finding meaning in, like... Oh, my gosh. I'm so stupid. I was... Okay, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even going to try to explain or justify myself. We're just going to try again. But I think a lot of people aren't really finding that much meaning in their, like, jobs and careers anymore. And a lot of it just, like, feels kind of grueling. So I think that part of the push to monetize hobbies is also just, like, well, otherwise you're going to be, like, you know, miserable doing something you don't want to do all day. Um, and it, de it definitely works out for some people. Like, for some people, it really is the dream that, like, oh, you know... Uh, you know, I get to do YouTube for a li living or like I make all my money off my art. Like for some people that actually does work out really nicely for them. Um, and for others, it kind of ruins the hobby. So it kind of just depends on the person. But I feel like that is a big reason that that has been pushed so much or why people feel like, oh, it would just be like better or easier to do it this way. Where in the hell am I going? How do I get to Meredith? Do I not have the abilities I need? What I thought was that I needed to go over here, but I don't know if I can make that. I guess let's try it. Oh my God. I did not jump in time. Y'all, I am a hot mess in this episode. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. Get, get over here. Okay, there we go. We made it. That should not have taken that long. Oh. Hi, it's Meredith. Oh, the newcomer. You knew about me? Boy Lake was babbling on about you when he came by to pick up some parts from my shop. Have you met him? He's the worst. <laughs> Did you know he's not even a real scientist? Before he landed on New World, he was a data analyst. So? Is that a problem? Someone needs to tell him that only wearing t-shirts that say I love science is not a personality. Well, aren't you just a delight, Meredith? What a, what a winning personality you have. Anyway, I'm Meredith. Enjoy being trapped on this rock forever with the rest of us until you die. Uh, she's, she's cynical. She's just a complete cynic. It doesn't seem so bad. Honestly, it really doesn't seem that bad here. I haven't seen anything yet that's, like, horrible. Um, the Archangels coming back is a problem. That could turn our lives upside down. But otherwise, it actually doesn't seem too bad to live here. Uh... There's, like, what, a couple hundred people here max? You run out of things to talk about pretty quick, trust me. Listen, I don't think I've even met 200 people in my life. That's a lot of people. <laughs> you, there, there is plenty to talk about with that many people. For you, That could entertain you forever. You could talk about things forever. Anyway, I just needed a breath of fresh air. Come meet me at my shop in town sometime. Yellow building on the boardwalk. I don't, I don't know if I want to. You aren't particularly pleasant. Oh, whoops, I don't want to track that one. I want to track this. But, alright, I guess uh, I guess we can go back to the electronics shop at some point. There's probably good stuff to buy there. I would have to guess. If we had to, like, unlock her shop by finding her, there's probably good shit. Okay. Well, now we can continue nor- Oh, a poison lake. Have we seen this before? I don't think we've come across this before. Ooh, make that, make that- Oh! We landed right on the edge. That's going to sink for sure. No, it didn't. Okay. Another rogue fusion. There's a lot of these around. I mean, we'll challenge it. We're all rested up and everything. Apocrograde. That is so horrifying. This gives, um, 
I don't know the name of it because I'm terrible with Digimon names, but there's a Digimon where it is centaur-like, except it's the bottom face that has the weird sucky mouth. Or it's not sucky, it's like a, it's really fucking cursed. If I can remember what it's called, I'll find a picture of it. Um, that's what this reminds me of. Also, why is Elfless like off of the screen? Okay, well, since we have our poison type out, we can hit this thing. Uh, that is part astral type, which should be good. And we'll just smack both of you with some spit. Ow. Oh, I, I keep forgetting you can poison poison types. That's such a weird mechanic to me. I'm just not used to it. Oh, we energized you. That was not smart. And we'll berserk you. So you can't set up if you were going to try to. Boy hammer. Let's try to get rid of the little guy. Do we want to? We don't want to energize you again, but. Movie for move status effects. Uh, we could do that. It would remove our berserk, but I don't know. It has so much AP already. Maybe we just go for damage and say fuck it. Okay, we'll at least take Elfless out this round. Ow. Boom. Yeah, run away. We might have, do we have something that heals poison? We might. We do have some poison here. We're both poisoned though. I don't know who would use it on. Um, actually, and Decibel isn't the best for this anyway. I almost don't really care if it goes down at this point. I think we're just gonna, hmm. Then we're gonna go for this, and then you are. Well, yeah, you can you can heal us with poison. Use that on me, please. Thank you. We might just get it back if this attacks us again, but I don't know. We'll do what we can. Okay. Um. I suppose just go for damage again. It's gonna it's gonna do the AP thing, but it is what it is. Evasion down. Ow. Yeah, it did poison us again. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, maybe we can just get some damage off. We did poison it. That's nice. Okay, chemical imbalance did not go off. That's fine. Well, oh, it wouldn't have worked because we didn't have the HP to do it, I don't think. We'll probably die to poison here. Yeah, okay. So who do we send in here? Um, well, fire's good against poison. Yeah, but it's it also helps astral type. We don't, this is a weird combo uh, to deal with on the enemy. We could do this. This is good against astral type and poison. So definitely mana spear. And then who else should we bring in? I mean, we could do Dandelion. Well, uh, no, that's not good against these. This is kind of neutral, right? Am I remembering that right? Isn't isn't fire good against poison? It like disintegrates it or something. I forget what the debuff is. Okay, we can shield bash. This should do hella damage. And we'll inflame. Yeah, we ignited it. Shield bash. Ooh, just barely didn't kill it. That is annoying. We're gonna do this because Velocirifle's faster and it should split these apart and then we'll hit both, both monsters. Do they keep the debuffs is the question. Okay, start a grade kept them, interesting. I wonder if that's random or if it's always the second one. Now that you're separate, we can target down the ones that we're super effective against. Or type advantage to guess against, rather. I know super effective isn't a thing in this game. It's just an easy way to explain that we have the type advantage. Saying type advantaged every time is kind of a mouthful. 
I guess super effective is also two words, but whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep bashing you. Bye. Jeez, that did a lot. Why did that do more damage all of a sudden? Wasn't that more than it was doing before? Surefire. Guaranteed the next move won't miss. Do we have low accuracy moves on Velocirifle? Rifle? I'll have to take a look. Oh, hello? Well, that was just like a temporary thing. Interesting. Um, we have not been over here before. Ranger Wallace and his team of ace builders built this bridge a little while ago. Okay. Are we going to meet Wallace over here? Okay, are you a trainer? Yes, you are. This island has taught me it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the most adaptable to change. Let's transform. That makes sense. It is all about change and adaptation here. I'm a Lichia, And I'm a Wallopia. A little poke. Just a little tiny poke. I feel so bad attacking them in their human form with these giant monsters. Like, that, that just doesn't seem right. Give me that HP back. All right, we should take it out this turn, I think. Uh, maybe not. I don't know if Blossom Oz is gonna do that much damage. Not that I'm worried, we're hardly taking any damage. Actually, we've healed back more of it now. Oh, we did, nice. Good job, Blossom Oz. Okay. I used to think we stopped looking for monsters under the bed when we realized they were inside us. Okay, chill, dude. We don't need to get all philosophical here. <laughs> what would that say about this island? Are these the monsters inside God, or are we simply under his bed, out of sight and long forgotten? Darwin, buddy, I'm going to need you to hit the brakes. <laughs> this is, you can't just walk up to a stranger and say this shit to them. It, it had the same vibe as the, the Spy Kids line, the one about, like, does God stay in heaven in fear of what he's created or whatever? It has the same energy as that. Um, do we really need to heal yet? We Well, these two are down, but I don't know. We, we have so much wood. We have a lot. I'm not super worried about running out of it. Oh, we have so much. Yeah, I'm not worried. This doesn't use that much. Hmm. This might sound weird, but sometimes I think people mistake feeling excited for feeling happy. When I lived in Morningtown, Dorian had all these grand plans for the community, and it felt exciting to be a part of that, to feel like lots of things were happening and that I got to be part of it all. I think at the time, I thought that this was making me happy, but I don't think that feeling was happiness. It was excitement, and it's easy to mix the two up, I think. I guess there's a difference between something being fun and something being fulfilling. Yeah, that's true, too. I think to me, like, when I say, like, you know, find like do hobbies for you or like find things you're passionate about just for your own sake. I think for me, that means like finding something that's both fun and fulfilling at the same time. Cause you can do something really fulfilling that is also like really exhausting and taxing. Um, like for example, like activism, um, there's something I want to get more involved in. I'm not super involved in right now and don't have much experience with it, but you know, something like that can be super fulfilling. If you are like, you know, fighting for a cause that you really care about and really believe in what you're doing, it will be very fulfilling, but it can also be so exhausting and take a toll on you. And there are things that are just really fun that aren't super fulfilling, but like, you know, watching a show you really like is like, yeah, you're you're having fun, you're entertaining yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But like, is it really super fulfilling to sit in front of a screen all day too? So it's like, it's nice to find things that blend the two of those together. I think you really hit the sweet spot if you can do both of those, you know, find one thing that does both of those for you. Um, and I think like, I don't know. I don't know if it's too far to say video games are like that for me. Cause 
I'm not sure if like calling them fulfilling is quite right. Um, I'm just really, really passionate about stories and like games in general. Um, and so like in that regard, I'm super, super passionate about them. And that's why I love playing them so much. And why to me, like games are not just entertainment. Like I'm not just doing it to fill up my free time. Like I really, really have a passion for games as a whole. Um, so that, that one kind of toes the line. I'm not sure if fulfilling is quite the right word. It's not the same kind of fulfillment I get from like, you know, creating art is like when you create something yourself, it, it's very different than just enjoying something else that already exists. But anyway, there's like been a lot of deep shit in this episode uh, because Kaylee pe keeps bringing up all this stuff at the fires, which, which I'm down for. I'm down for it. Um, do we want to fight you? It's over here. We have not been to this quadrant yet. That opens that. Oh, no, it doesn't. That, what is that? Oh, we need we need something to set on here. There was a box, okay. Oh, you saw me, okay, hello. Huh? Do you know the way back to Rendlesham Forest? I've never heard of that place, so I have no idea. Is that not where we are right now? Swap you out, because I do not want to trap this thing. we catch this? We don't have one of these. We could try to catch it just to see what it's like. Well, we, we might kill. If we don't kill it, we'll try to catch it, but this might kill. Yeah, that killed. <laughs> oh no, this is a person. Never mind. Never mind. There are some wild ones around here, though. Ooh. Wait, Brax suit. We have seen this before, haven't we? This looks different, though. Wait, isn't Brax suit the... The name of the other thing that's wearing a suit? Didn't it look different? Are there two different like forms of it or something? This is air type. Um, interesting. Am I am I crazy or is there another creature called Brax suit that looked different? Okay. Well, we can do the old one too. We haven't used this yet. I just want to do it for fun to see the animation. Nice. Took him out completely. Hmm. I guess I'm stuck here then. You'll find a way out. Just keep walking around. You'll come across it eventually. That's what I've been doing. What was that electric thing? What is that? Hello? What are you? Boltum. It's like a monkey with a... What is that for a head? Bush Eye is also new. These are both new. I kind of want both of them. I don't... Boltum is kind of, kind of freaking me out a little bit with the design. But we don't have an electric type. That would be very nice to have. Bush Eye, I just think, is a silly little guy. I kind of want both of them. Let's let's try not to kill. Let's just use our, our little moves for now. Yeah, that's fine. Bushai is so silly. Look at this little dude. Okay. Ow. Oh, I like that little animation. Its eyes, when it popped up like that, were so cute. Okay, let's see. Let's attack with you and have you do the honors of recording it. We'll try a basic one for now. Recording. recording! Okay, after this hit, our chance should be pretty damn good. Yes, very nice. We have a new little dude in our collection. Now we gotta catch this freaky monkey thing. I feel like Boltum could evolve or uh, remaster into something really interesting. Like it could could become some crazy gorilla thing. Bush eyes are almost exclusively found hiding within bushes. Oh, so that's not part of the body. There's like a little guy hiding in there. 
which gives them the ability to both hide from predators and sneak up on prey. They can lie motionless in hiding for hours at a time, sometimes dozing off and missing their moment to pounce on their targets. Aw, sleepy little guy. Let's check you out. Okay, you have, you have quite a lot of HP. What does Peekaboo do? Lowers accuracy. All right. The other stats are completely even. Very interesting. Seems pretty versatile. Okay. Um, now to deal with you. Let's stab ya. And try to record ya. Hopefully Kaylee doesn't die while trying to record you. Well, she still has most of her HP. She'll probably be fine. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! Maybe we'll swap around our party a little bit to try out some new monsters. Please leave Kaylee alone. I don't like when she gets hurt like that. Her distress cries are very distressing. Got it. We got the little the little weirdo. The metal heads of the Boltums are extremely conductive and they passively absorb electricity currents from the atmosphere. Boltums are able to channel this energy into a magnetic field, which they can use to travel across land and air. Oh, this is the magnetic creature we were supposed to catch. I literally wasn't even thinking about that when we saw it. But we are in the zone where we were supposed to get that. Okay, you have broadcast. Gives the user multi-target. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I didn't look at its stats, I should have. You can hold R to interact with magnetic objects. Oh, I bet that's what that panel is that we showed, uh, revealed with the button. We got some wheat. Very cool, okay. Well, let's test it out. Oh, cool. We can like magnetically float and rise up into the air. We got another Zephyr. That is so cool. Can we can we do it while we're carrying stuff? Oh, I should have flown. I should have used that to rise up and then use my moth wings. Oh, is that what it wanted us to do? And then float down, very nice. No, I don't want to fight you, dude. No, 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 you're so aggressive. I don't want to fight more of you. I just needed one of you. Bye. Okay. okay. Hmm, we can stay like electrically charged. Oh, can we carry this over to the, um, this? Oh, this battery, oh. Wait, hold on, move out of my way, I need to test that. Get out of here. I'm in the middle of something. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, so if you're under them, oh, that's cool. It's a little hard to control. Okay, there we go. Oh, hi, I didn't even notice you over there. Hello. I think we have the perfect home for you, first time buyer. It's a vampire. There's a family living in it at the moment, but we can kick them out for you. Why are you making that face? Because fuck you, that's why. Get your, get your little pawn dead face out of here. You don't deserve to be that cute. Get out of here. Oh yeah, we the earth types get trapped too. Isn't that what, what metal type also does with poison? I forgot that applies to earth type as well. Okay, we will swap out then. And, uh, we'll just do this. Okay, what else? Do you have another one of these? Get some new material, man. Hello. Goodbye. That did so much damage, dude. What's your problem? It's perfectly legal. They're only tenants after all. We own them. Ah, uh, that's, that's not how that works. I don't know what laws you have here in this world, but IRL, that's not how that works. Um, okay, so what does it want us to do? Okay, Kaylee was saying something when we 
first activated this, and then we got in a battle, and and then I couldn't see what it was. I don't know, was she just telling me that we can use those now? Um, we need more things to put on the buttons there. Is there another box around here somewhere? No. Is this a bush eye? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like the other, like, plant sprites that we've seen so far. That is really cute, actually. That they're just hiding. Okay, this person is a, a new person to battle. Hello? Oh gosh, there's something really wrong with your aura. Are you sick? No, no, you should be. Uh-huh? Excuse me? Are you telling me you're going to intentionally infect me? Because that's really fucked up. I kind of- I don't know how I feel about your moves. I don't know. I think I mostly just don't like- Turn one, we can only ever smack. We don't have- Well, actually, that's not true. We do have some- a few setup things. I guess we could do this. We could do this for fun. Why not? That's really what I should be doing first. Like, why not get a debuff off right away if we've got to save up AP anyhow? Well, you gave me Berserk. I guess I'll be coming after you next turn. We did lower your physical defense. But we don't have a physical move to use. So I will- well, we have this. I'll save up to do Toxic Stab next time. Well, we don't need to Toxic Stab you. We can just do this. We just got a little bit of hit points left. Spit! Jeez. Maybe we could have killed him if we had gone for Toxic Stab. Preemptive Strike? Oh, that's nasty. Damn! Holy shit, that damage was crazy. Do we do more damage if we have damaged the, the trainer themselves? Because why did that do so much? Is that a thing? If someone could let me know if that's how that mechanic works, I would appreciate it. Does does the the human behind it having less HP affect like the defenses or stats of the monster that they turn into? New leaf on you. Okay, cool. Uh... Maybe it wasn't your aura after all. Maybe it was just my poor eyesight. Well, I want to check if we actually have that on or if we... No, I was going to say, I don't think we had room to put anything else on. Cotton on reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I don't find myself using defend much. Let's swap this out for... There was new leaf. Yes, put you on here. Is there anything else we wanted to check? Anyone get any new slots? No, okay. Well, we're kind of hurt, so I'm gonna swap you out for you and you. Hello? No, I don't want to fight you. I want to see what this is. Hello? Is this a person? Is it this robot seems to be malfunctioning. There's a coin slot on its back. Perhaps there's a suitable coin on the island. Oh, oh, it's way over there. Okay. Oh, wait. No, okay, I thought it was interacting with that at first. Yeah, it's another dude. It's over here. We're still kind of, oh, we can get up here. Okay. I don't know if I actually wanted to go over to this other side. Yeah, we were already here before. We were, we were literally here before. Well, what's over here? Have we gone this far over? We have not. The lake side. Oh, is that a water type? Hello. We could use a water type. You're not a water type. Never mind. I couldn't tell what it was from the back. We've seen one of these before. I got really excited. Okay. Um, what if instead... Uh, okay, we can we can get across here. No, Squirey. 
No, no, back down. Heal. Okay, what does this do? Oh. Okay. So now we can get up there. Is that a ranger? That's somebody doing something important. Hello. Who are you? Hey. Friendly guy. Watch your feet. You don't want to trip on all the junk lying around here. I like your hair. Your hair is really cool. What is this place? Mm. Most people fall out of the sky and land in the ocean here, right? Not me. I dropped in here with all my stuff. This was once my apartment, give or take a couple walls. Why did that happen? <laughs> Beats me. It does mean I've got all my old sketchbooks and artwork, I'm though. Felix. I'm Felix. Nice to meet you. I'm Gecko. Hey. hey, Felix. What are you doing out here? I should have said they call me Gecko. It's not, it's not my real name, but obviously. I'm looking for uh... something. A lot of the stuff was wrecked when the whole place dropped out of the sky with me in it, and then the rain damage didn't help. But there's something around here that I'm confident will be intact. What would that be? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> This seat is still intact, so hopefully no water got in. What is that? Hmm. It might be hard to explain. Come swing by my place in West Harbor Town, then I'll show you. Can we get to the west side yet? I don't know if we can. Don't you want me? Meet Felix at his home. Okay. We've got a few things to check out back in town. Um, next time, next time we're there. Ooh. Can we? Do we have enough speed to get through here? We do. Okay, th this is East Ham Woods. Is this an egg? Oh no, that's a big rock. Oh, we we took that off of... Oh, there was a thing in here. Glass wall. Sacrifice 20%. Oh, this is one of the wall moves. We have not seen any glass types yet. Oh, Kaylee's getting on top of the rock. Excuse me. I actually, I actually want this. Hi. Hey. Hey, halt. State your name and affiliation, soldier. No. I refuse. I won't tell you anything. I don't want to be a grass type in here. That's not good. A plant type. That, that would not be good for us. I will be a, a poison type, though. I don't really want to be a metal type, either. We'll just swap both of us out. Hello. Do you want to fight these guys instead? Yes. Give me that sweet updraft. And then I'ma stab ya. And then I'ma wallop ya. Can we get the poison? Yes. Bye. Oh, you also have flap woods. This is the evolution of Brack suit. Actually, we'll go for trick, just for fun. No, not you to cast. Wallop. Oh, we got more poison. Oof. Down goes Melchemy. Let's instead bring in... Let's bring in Mana Spear. We'll shield bash him. Oh, the poison did it. There we go. We got Hurricane. Hits a whole team and destroys walls. It does cost 5 AP, but that's really good. I've lost my unit. We were combing the woods near our base in Suffolk. I got separated a while on autopilot and found myself here. I don't know how it happened. Now that's, that's unfortunate to hear. Um... I do want to go back to town. I want to look at this, like, altar-looking thingy first. Do we, do we know what this is? Why is it just, like, a void over here? Is this the edge of the map? Oh, it is. Okay. I didn't realize we were at the edge. I was like, what the hell will happen if you jump off here? Probably nothing good. Status resistance. The user takes reduced damage from the burned poison and leech status. Ooh. That's just, like, a passive, passive ability. Okay. Oh, there's ham. Excuse me? Ham? No, I didn't want to fight that. East ham, and then there's just ham. I wonder what determines whether you can flee. It's always set 100% for us so far. 
Maybe if you're, like, fighting something that's way stronger than you, it's harder. Um. Oh, there's a bonfire in this quadrant. I'm glad I, I went over here. Just enough for the map to, to reveal it. Yes. I was going to say, I wanted to end things soon. We could also go back to town to heal. Which, honestly, I kind of wanted to go back to town anyway. So let's just go back to the cafe to heal real quick. Oh, we, we got far today. We unlocked a bunch of new areas we hadn't been to yet. Well, not really unlocked, but you know what I mean. Like, uncovered. Alright, we'll go ahead and rest in here because it's free to do so. And we need to check out some things in town anyway. Hmm. But we'll, we'll do this first. I have a question for you, Gecko. It's a big one. Are you ready? Or are you a dog person or a cat person? Or ferret? Here's the thing. I, I love all animals. I think I said this when she was asking me about dog breeds before. I love all animals. I was a huge, huge dog person as a kid. I didn't really, I didn't really care for cats that much when I was little, mostly because I re hadn't really interacted with them. So I didn't really know what they were like. Now that I have known people who have cats and I've spent time with them, I fucking love cats. I absolutely adore them, but I also adore dogs. This question is silly to me because I, I love both and there's no reason to pick one over the other. Um, ferrets are also very fun. I have not really interacted with them very much but I love like watching videos of them. Um, if, if I have to pick one out of these three, I'm a dog person. In reality, I'm a reptile person. Like at heart, it's all about the lizards, but out of these three, we'll say dog. <laughs> a grand choice, me too. If I get to go back to my world, I think I'd want to adopt a dog. I do a lot of walking these days, so a dog would fit that nicely, don't you think? Yeah. I hope you get a dog someday, Kaylee. You could adopt a pup bomb here. You could also become a pup bomb. You could become like Wolf, who we met, who was running around acting like a dog. If you want to just full send it and, and go full dog person mode, you could literally become a dog. All right. We might switch our party around next time too. I think it would be fun to switch it up and try some new monsters that we haven't yet. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got some stuff to do next time. So we'll get to that in the next episode. As always, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, let me know what you thought of the new monsters we found today. Uh, Boltum is, like, really uncanny and weird. Uh, it's kind of horrifying. I, I like the design. It's just, like, it's just bizarre to think about encountering that. Uh, I think Bush Eye is very adorable. Um, it's just a silly little guy. I enjoy its design a lot. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I think I've said that already. Having a great time with it. I'm always looking forward to playing it again. And I hope that you guys are looking forward to watching more of it. So I will catch you in the next episode.